picked this one to make a video is because I wanted to go over how we make the decision when we get a phone that's got saltwater ocean damage, when do we try to fix the board and when do we just take the data chips from the damage board and harvest them, reball them, and move them to a receiver board. So both of those strategies kind of have their, their risks and their benefits, and I thought we could cover that. Plus, I just really like David's note. It says that on this phone is a special video that is his proposal video Hello, to David. his wife. Hi, David. This is Jessa from iPad Rehab. I'll just give you like the quick, you know, 60 second story on the background and, and you have full permission to watch, you're watching it, you kind of get some context. Okay. Um, I had, I had taken her up this mountain in Utah, we're up at Zion okay. and we were totally late. My whole plan was to do this at sunset. And so it's getting way too dark. The sun's already setting. I take her up instead of taking her up at the outlook. We go up on, climb up on this rock that is not steady at all. And when I tried to kneel, I wasn't able to kneel straight. So I was in this weird, awkward crouch and I had this whole speech plan. And instead of, you know, giving off my speech, I basically just blurted out, will you marry me? And so I don't know if, if you want to use that, you can. I mean, I, it's, it's pretty bad though. But even still, like that looks pretty bad. And that might be like, okay, let's just do a, a CPU transfer. Um, but let's hold up and decide maybe, maybe not. Because over here, it starts looking much better. This looks great. It never got wet under this area where all of these power chips are. A little wet here. And then especially down at the LCD connector, I can see I'm testing, like, do I have movement on those pins? And I do, which means that even if miraculously this phone did boot right now, we wouldn't be able to tell because we would not be able to see um, image on a screen when the connector is open, 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 lots and lots of open joints from those corrosion spots. All right, what else we have going on? I didn't take off all of the solder on shields. Now looking around the CPU itself, that looks great. So we could just go harvest the CPU which in this model, there's a RAM chip that's soldered to the top of the CPU. And then under here would be the storage IC where all the data actually is. So it may come to that, but before I say, that's what we're doing, we're gonna take this and do a, and do a CPU transfer, that's a little bit aggressive. And if we don't have to, then I'm not gonna. So here's my strategy. I'm gonna look around to see if I can identify where the main power rail is. And then I'm gonna solder a wire to the main power rail. And then I'm going to ask the phone to turn on and I'm gonna see what does that look like from a current perspective. Does it look like it has a normal boot current? Because if it does, then I would be motivated to just kind of clean up the really bad areas and then re-solder that connector and we might be okay. So let's do that. Let's go look for the main power rail and get a wire on there. All right, I'm gonna put that wire on, but first I, that's, that's a little too much even for me. Let's get the old man's toothbrush. Much better. All right, this looks like a good spot right here for my, my wire for my main power. And then we need one for ground. So I'm just gonna pick the top of any one of these soldered on cans that are still there. Now we're gonna connect this to our DC power and then we have to see if we can figure out how do we simulate the power button. Okay, we've got our board is hooked up to positive and negative. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect that DC power and let's see, what does it do? Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna disconnect, connect. There is, there is a current draw that I think is inappropriate. I think it should hold at zero. And we're going to get out the thermal camera and see if that's because there's a short to ground. And it's pretty obvious. Heat, right there. 
Now, heat doesn't always mean there's a short, but in this case, that's the same super salty chip that we just cleaned with the old man's toothbrush. So let's go ahead and swap that chip for one that is from a donor board and see where and, and see if that's really the only thing that's going on other than the connector. And let's just confirm with the multimeter. Yep, 0 0.035. Sure enough, probably should have measured that first. <laughs> there is definitely a short to ground on the main power rail. So let's go ahead and take off that chip and see if we can get this unshorted. Yeah, it's pretty ugly under there. <laughs> Solve that problem real quick. All right, there we go. And the short is gone. So now we need to get another one of these, these chips. And normally I would probably draw the line here for a Samsung because there's not a ton of information that's known and it's, it's a lot more difficult to figure out what do chips do and do we need it and why. Um, However, the S10e, like the S10, has a fairly significant number that have a signature trace crack in the board or some sort of a CPU disconnect. So we have a lot of donor boards is where I'm going with this. We have a lot of ones where we take the CPU off and then we're left with these receiver boards or donor boards. And um, so it's gonna be pretty easy for me to get just a copy of this chip from a board that didn't have anything, any kind of water damage. Here's an example. Here's one where we did take off the CPU, but there's nothing else wrong. It's just one of these ones that had the trace crack inside the board. So it's a perfect one to harvest any of these other chips. We'll take note of where the dot is. Now I'm gonna try to get a clean lift so I can cheat a little bit. If I can get a clean lift, all those balls perfectly even, then I can transfer it without reballing it, as long as nobody's looking and nobody tells. Mm, not good enough. That one has some oxidized pads, so we will have to reball it. Let's see if I can find a random stencil that's close to me that will yeah. fit this chip. Something on an iPhone 7 is a match. Perfect. All right, perfect and ready to go on the board. There's the little dot. Perfect. All right, let's hook this back up. And, and the DC power says our leak is gone. Now we have to figure out how do we press the power button? There is no power button on this board, so how do we figure that out? Let's look back at the original housing right here. So we're gonna look back at David's actual housing. And this one's an easy one for power button. The physical kind right here. So we can actually just use this power button to power it up, lay it in here. This is pretty salty, but we just need the power button function. And we could use tweezers, but it's more fun to click the button. Press, 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 press. Now look up at that DC power. That looks pretty good. Mm, let's try again. Let's try again. Prompt it to boot. Press the press, press the power button. Pressing, pressing, pressing. Yeah, that looks like it's going to boot up. All right. So then this is where I would say, okay, stop. 
let's go ahead and see if we can do what's really kind of a smaller effort to replace a connector, replace that fuse, troubleshoot any problems that we might find. That's actually a little bit easier than transferring the CPU. CPU is pretty easy on the S10 and the S10e, but if anything happens, it, which could be something like a tool has a little bit of a rough spot or it got bent and it kind of gouges the CPU, something like that, it would make it then completely out of the question to recover data. So I like to be cautious when I can if the work is about equivalent. So let's go for a quick rebuild of the connector and the donor board connector better be a match. Otherwise, it'll be too much work. But let's go ahead and see. Can I rebuild the connector? And can I put back that battery fuse that looks like it's really missing and dug out in the board? And then see if it'll boot up. Whoa, those pads are rough. This one is just too damaged. Delete. All right, that's good. Now we need to harvest a connector. All right, let's see. Donor board, receiver board looks about the same. Okay, got to get this one off without damaging it so that I can transfer it. I remember the first time I had to do a harvest a connector without damaging it job because it was the only one that I had was for a local guy that had damaged a connector on an old 5C. And he had asked me if I had one and I was like, sure. But I had, uh, had a 5S and 5C was different on that connector. So he was on his way over and I was like, oh geez. He was driving from like an hour away. So the only connector that I had was on a working 5C. So I had to like take at one shot to harvest the connector without damaging it. While chatting, while he was sitting in my living room, this was back in the dining room days, and man, I was sweating it. Not so much anymore. It's going to be funny if this video turns into and then we had to do the CPU transfer anyway because Jessa couldn't harvest a connector off of her known good. All right, here goes nothing. Woo, beautiful. Now let's go one by one on each little foot and make sure that it is solidly on. Perfect. Let's take a close look. All right. All right, let's see what happens. I've got a fresh known good housing, not the salty one. Okay. Now let's see if that boot up current that we saw before, does it actually translate into an image? thing to see ah! oh it's gonna be so so good oh I'm so excited for David I love a happy ending don't you love a happy ending yay 
Oh, that's so great. We're going to just extract all of these pictures. And then I'm going to ask him if David will send us that proposal video. I would love to see that. I'm so excited that he's going to get that back. All right, so this one I thought was a good example. It could have gone either way. There was quite a bit of damage to the board from the salt water, but this is what it looks like when we decide whether or not to just go for take the CPU and the memory transfer it to a receiver board, which we do a lot, but not all the time. And this one looked like it probably only had a couple of pretty repairable things so that the native board could get into the place where it could turn on and that would always be a little bit less aggressive a little bit safer so there you go good news for you david i'm so excited to to be able to give you back these memories <laughs> okay now here's what i'm thinking we're just smiling let's at do the... one you go stand right here okay. do like a muscle position and i'm gonna do a muscle position we're both gonna look at the valley Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, we just took one. Hold on, it's ten seconds. Okay. Do you want to do it now? Do, do muscles, muscles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you can turn around. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Megan, can you marry me? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So cute. I, I couldn't you. do it during oh the sunset. So I couldn't time it. No, right. it's okay. No, it's it's like glowing though. It's almost better like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, um, it's yours. Yeah. The left hand. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right size. Oh, perfect. Yes, oh my gosh. Is it? Yeah. <laughs>